Hey everyone, Diogo Marques here. I had a couple of requests from you to show you exactly how I conduct my daily business. So in this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how. These are not warm leads, people that typed in any kind of form of anything like that. These are 100% cold contacts. Business owners that don't know me from Adam, they are not expecting me at all. So in a couple of minutes, I will cold call these people and close them on a spot for you to see. And this is exactly what we're going to do in this video. Some are English speaking, other are Portuguese. To be honest, I could care less. I could call them all. So let's go do this. Hello. Hi, is this John? Yes. I'm Diogo. We have contact from Wakeland. I'm a life insurance broker with MetLife. I'd like to work with you. I'd like to help. Hmm. How would you like to help? Sure. We do retirement accounts, income protection up to 1.5 million, and life insurance policies from 2 million up. These are customized plans, so we usually meet and see where we can be more effective to help. Can you send me an email? Sure. Just out of curiosity, do you like the idea? Does the idea make sense to you? The life insurance part of your plan makes sense to me. Actually, I recently had a meeting with my partner, so we could do something like that at our company. How does that work? Sure. The main idea here is how much money would be needed to be paid out immediately to the company if you or your partner had an accident, got seriously ill, and the company was essentially left by itself. Okay. Who would pay all the employees, taxes, creditors, bank loans, and every liability? Yes, I'm here. I just ask you, if something were to happen to you or your partner, how would you get all the company's liabilities paid so you could avoid getting your families getting hit financially and their assets frozen? Well, that's a tough one. I never thought about that. Exactly. In fact, the true beauty of this program is that for a small amount of premium, you get a disproportionate amount of coverage that is immediately paid out in case of any event that is secured on a contract with the insurance company. As an example, let's say a company that does 5 million revenue because the owner is a sales guy. Okay. So there's a huge liability there because the company's revenue is solely dependent on the efforts and well-being of one person. Mm. So they take out the life insurance policy in his name, securing at least one year worth of revenue. Same thing if there's a different company that has a different set of circumstances and they reach a conclusion that they need 250 million there in that specific event, 250 million will be there. Get it? So just out of curiosity, from your perspective and your circumstances, what is the liabilities numbers that we're looking at? Just ballpark figures. Well, I would need to know how much this would cost me, but ballpark figures, we are looking at two mil. How much would that cost? When were you born? 1169. And your partner? 11171. Do both of you have families? Yes, two kids each. Any you smoke? I do, she doesn't. Okay, great. Does she have any medical condition that you know of? She is, I believe, type 1 diabetes. Okay, based on this chart here that I'm looking at, for a 2 million policy, you're looking at the 30k a year premium. This covers a 2 million policy. I need to talk with my partner. That's a lot of money. In relation to what? John, you just told me you paid 1 million in wages in 14 months. They here are 12. You know Portuguese laws are crazy. Today they are with you, tomorrow they're working at Pizza Hut. Who are the ones that will be the first ones to sue you when things are going wrong? This one is for you. One time a year. This is your personal insurance. I know, but this is a lot of money. Can you send me a quote? We'll look into this and let you know. Sure. Just let me ask you. Let's say I'm wrong and you and your partner both live until you're 99. 30k a year is not going to kill you financially, right? Well... Right. On the other hand, let's say I am right, which I am, by the way. What are the odds as both of you keep working towards developing your company? You develop a lung cancer and she that she's already type 1 diabetes, she becomes a full-blown diabetic. How will the company's situation look then? John. For 3% of what you're paying them, you are ensuring that 2 million will immediately be there when either of you has a health problem. 
And from what you've been telling me so far, after paying all the liabilities, there won't be much left either. So you won't be rich either, right? Well, that's right. Right. But what this deal will do is serve as a benchmark of the type of relentless person that I am, determined in doing the right thing. That's the only one way that clients stay with me. I'm not a sprinter, I'm a marathon runner. There's only one way of seeing relationships for me, that is long term. It makes sense what you're saying, but at this point we have more expenses to cover. And I don't want to get more operating expenses. I can relate to that, but let me ask you. Have you ever in your life spent 30k? Well, sure. Ever have it not work? What do you mean? Spending 30k and making a bad investment? Yes, unfortunately. John, if you and your partner got here, your decisions have paid off. You're obviously smart business people, otherwise you wouldn't be here. Right? Well... Right. So let's do some math real quick. You are paying 1 million to employees that today they are with you, tomorrow we already established that they will be the first ones to leave you and also sue you on their way out. Right? Versus a measly 30k once a year that gets you 2 million there at the first sign of trouble. What's the return on that? I get what you're saying, <laughs> you just go call me, I don't know Fair you. Fair enough. John, let me reintroduce myself. Again, my name is Diogo Marquez. I work as a life insurance advisor with MetLife. And for the last two years, I've been their top consultant. The reason why is that I just th see things differently from my perspective. From my own perspective, economies are made of businesses. Businesses are made of people. You and I, we are in a people business. So I focus my day on finding the best people I know I can help and developing my own set of skills in life insurance. That way I can just keep focusing on one thing. Because when that time comes, no one else is going to be more effective than me, more prepared. Because I would outwork everyone, that's the first thing. And the other one, I am the very best at what I do. So I am sure at what I'm telling you because when that day comes, you look back and say to yourself, I'm glad I did this. He's focused and determined as I was, and I knew I could count on him. Sounds fair but enough. What if the insurance company doesn't pay? I've heard so many stories. Jan, MetLife is the largest life insurance group in the world. They've been around for more than 150 years. They do 70 billion in revenue, present worldwide. If you have been around for more than 150 years, obviously we didn't get here by keep burning clients along the way. We got here by doing diligent, by being, by doing right by you, by answering the phone, being there at the most important times, and obviously, clients stayed. That's the only one way of, of serving clients. Would you agree? Yes, that's right. We focus on that too. Right. That's what I'm saying. And obviously, as time went on, clients' companies kept getting larger, and we all grew in proportion. <laughs> Just so you know, my commission in, in this deal doesn't even cover lunch. But it serves as a bet I'm making today because my instincts told me you are probably someone like us. This has to work both ways, you know. And like anything sustainable in life, it starts with one small step from the beginning. Sounds fair enough? Okay, let's do this. What do you need? Citizenship card front and back and eBay and bank details. I appreciate your business. Thanks. Just made 30k.